Yo, what's good? It's Halo. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the top five cars under 500,000. I've done 250,000, so now I'm doing 500,000. Let's go. So come. All right, coming up number one, we have the Jester. Now this car is amazing for 350k. It's got a great top speed, acceleration, and traction. The braking's more on the lower side, but it really doesn't prevent how this car performs. To me personally, this car is actually really clean. Like, I'd still use it to this day, even though I have cars like over 5 million. Um, it sounds amazing. It performs amazing. Sometimes the braking can get annoying, but it really doesn't affect it once you have it fully upgraded. Now, you can get this car on Legendary Motorsports instead of um, Super Oils, but... I, re I really feel that the Jester race car version performs and looks better. The edits on it are really cool as well. You can have some nice front bumpers, skirts. The spoilers are very nice on it as well. All around the customization, just the sound of the car, the whole performance is really like up there for a car that's below 500 grand. I can like really say this, like this car deserves to be a lot more money, I feel like, because it just feels like you've got a car worth more than 500 and in legendary motorsports it's actually around 200 instead of 350 grand which is unbelievable because this car just feels amazing but let's go on to the second one mm. alright coming up at number two we have the Massacraro might have butchered that name but it's 385 grand has an amazing top speed accelerations really high for a 385 grand car Traction's a little bit lower than the Jester, the braking's around the same. This is also another race car from Super Autos. Um, you can also find this on Legendary Motorsports for a little bit cheaper, but I suggest getting the race car version because it's only 385 grand, you can still buy upgrades, maybe even max it out, and it just, I personally feel like it performs and looks better. This car also sounds amazing, can be used for races, driving around Los Santos, doing missions, feel like it's really useful and just like the Jester it has a great option of edits it has really good bumpers really good skirts hoods spoilers like really you can't really ask for more for a car that's under 500 grand it sounds good performs well it's just an all-round amazing car you can mi mix like the pearlescent with the metallic to make it look amazing it's just really clean it hits 100 on the dash really easily, even before it's upgraded. Alright, coming in at number 3, we have the Kongsanetti. Now, I might have butchered that name, but it's coming out at 396,000 from Leisure Motorsports. It's an armoured car, so this is a car that you would want to use for missions like Headhunter, which is a VRP mission. Um, anything that needs, like, taking fire from, machine weapons, not rockets though, any rockets will probably destroy this car. It's an armoured car that is actually pretty decently fast and I feel like it's a great car to have mid-game if you've got that 500k. Um, it's not as good as some armoured cars but it's actually a really good armoured car. It's fast and it has its armoured abilities. The editing options are alright. There ain't as much editing options as the Jester and the Massacre or whatever that name was but you can make it look really cool with the metallic and pearlescent. It performs well, it's an armoured car, it's only 396,000 and I really do suggest everyone picks one of these up. Alright, coming in at number 4 we have the Florin GT. Now this car's got great top speed, really good acceleration, better braking than Jester. It's coming at 448 grand off Legendary Motorsports. It's a really nice sounding car, performs great, it sounds great, it's just an all round really nice car. Um, it just can be used for races, can be used for missions. I mean, there's not really anything more you can want for a car under 500k. It maintains its purpose. I was there swerving in front of cars to show that the traction is actually great on it. A little bit less top speed than the Jester, but the braking makes up for it. One, th one thing I would actually say with this is the customization on this car isn't too much there is customization but definitely not as much as the jester and the other uh, massacre 
I might keep on butchering this name, but you can still make this car look very nice. Um, with it, because uh, it's got 448 grand and you still got that 500k budget, you can either buy a transmission or a better engine and make this car acceleration actually still like really, really high. But you won't be able to fully upgrade it. But it's honestly a great car, and I suggest. All right, last up, we have the Kruma. Now, this car is coming in at 525k from Super Oils. Now, it's 25k over the budget, but trust me, this 25k is honestly 100% worth it. I would say personally that this car is the best starter car that you could ever get. It's 100% bulletproof from any civilians. More, I would say 99%. You're basically invincible from civilians when you're in this car. But players, that's a different story. The customization is also great. Nice bumpers, spoilers, skirts, all of that. And you can make this car look super clean. Like, I still use this car to this day because it's just got me through so much stuff. Like, it's helped me out with missions, like Headhunter. You can bring it into heist preps. It's just such a useful car. So I would definitely get one if I was you. Alright, now we're going to drive each car across the airstrip so you guys can kind of see how the car sounds and how it will perform. So yeah, I'm just going to let this play and afterwards I'll just show you what the cars cost and what they look like. Alright you lot, I hope that helped you decide what you want for 500k, but I'll catch you up in the next video, a like, comment, subscribe will always be appreciated, but it's been Halo, peace.